Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Can mean only one thing. It's time for Frank to talk. Frank Apotamus? Yeah. Oh my god. Frank Apotamus, all right. All right, Frank's topic today. Um, how much do I have to have to get my offer in after an REO is listing? How what? much time? How much time? <laughs> Thank you. That's actually here, and I missed it, Frank. The word is on my paper. How much time do I have to get my offer in after an REO slash foreclosure is listed? So why are we asking that question today, Frank? Is there a, qu- is there a problem out there? Well, right now the competition is fierce, and you have to have your timing down. So um, you should drink really? Gatorade before you start. <laughs> exactly. Eat those new chews that they got out. <laughs> oh, that's that right. Hope the, Solo was eating. Yeah, and uh, Cam Newton. But uh, hopefully your, buy, uh, your, your buyer's agent is on top of this stuff every time a new listing comes up, especially if it's an <laughs> REO. <laughs> okay. So anyway. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the way the REOs go is once, once the REO is listed, you can go ahead foreclosure. and- Foreclosure. Or foreclosure. You can send your offer in immediately. Um, If you send it in right away, don't expect to get a response for quite a while because the standard procedure for the banks is they let the property uh, season or basically sit on the market for for a few days so that the offers can build up. You know, they they don't just send the first offer that comes in and the next one and the next one. Is there a standard period of time that they're letting it sit? Usually three to five days or so, you know, okay. just so that instead of sending in one by one, they can send in all six, seven, or ten or whatever at the same time so they can hopefully counter everybody at the same time and try and cut the process time so down. So as long as you make that window, you, <coughs> there's no advantage or disadvantage to sending your offering on the first or the third day. Not, not really, no. I mean, when it comes down to it right now with the, with the level of buyers out there, it just comes down to price and terms, and that's what they're looking for, whether you're the first offer in or you're the last offer in. <laughs> but you do want to try and be in that window time. You want to be within the first, let's say, at least five to ten days getting your offer in, I would I would play the safe card and throw it in at least within five, no later than five days after if possible. Okay, let's go with five. Let's go five with five. Days. Okay. Five is the new number. <clears throat> yeah. Five is the new 30, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and even after, even after, and a lot of times if a lot of offers are coming in, the um, the asset managers will ask the agents to put a deadline. The asset but, managers are the people at the bank who control yeah. the sale. There you go. They control the spice. They control the help. universe. Just trying to help. You know, these people out here, they may yes. not know these things, Frank. I, I, I think that's I can the tell. second Dune reference this show has had. <laughs> <laughs> Frank had them both, just so you know. Yeah. And and uh, basically, when, when that drop date comes, they're pretty serious about that drop date because they want to get moving. They want to make their selection. So... Your, uh, hopefully your agent's on top of that also and comes back and tells you, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, hey, we've got until whatever Friday, 12 p.m. to get our offer in, okay? After that, usually they're going to go ahead and, and be pretty strict with that drop, that drop date. Maybe not that 12 p.m., but by midnight that day, the next day you send an offer in, the portal could be closed, no more offers come in, and the asset managers really, honestly, they're, they're pretty strict about it, even if a better offer came in. They've got everything on the table, and they start working on their decision. But I would still spend that extra 10, 15, 20 minutes to draft that offer up, even if that property's uh, uh, gone pending or back up and send your offer in. Because nowadays, buyers are falling out or backing mm-hmm. out left and right. Huh. And you want to be at least be in the Is that something system. new? I mean, is, you, it, is, it, is, it, is, is it increasing? They, I, you know what? I, I don't know what to call it—a phenomenon or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, a buyer. Zombie apocalypse. There's a lot of buyers that, um, for whatever reason, are going in and having their inspections and actually backing out due th- to the inspection yeah, more that. nowadays <laughs> than, than ever. I find that funny because you're buying a foreclosure, which typically gets beat exactly. to crap, You'd and, be and then and then you have it inspected, and the guy says, "Well, the so windows are broken and the paint is bad." It's so hard to get your offer accepted, and then you're the one that's the that's victorious killing. one. And then you just walk away from it. And I'm hearing that those same buyers literally almost never get another offer accepted or it takes a very long time again and they wish they had taken their first opportunity. But is it is it is it a situation now where you really can't be too picky right now? You can't be too picky. Know what you're buying. If you're buying an uh, if you're buying an REO foreclosure. and if you're buying a foreclosure, it's not mm. coming off the mm. showroom floor. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's in, it's in uh, Joe's dirt lot it's behind yeah. the gas station. You, to, you remember those lost and found boxes <clears throat> at the school? 
Yeah, where everybody's I went jacket to, I went was. I to a private school, so I had to wear certain things on church day and all that. And yeah. I would forget all the time. So I had to go to lots of found and find a sweater. And it was it's gross. it's rack me. it's rack shopping. Man. Okay, there's a button missing. You know the stitching's a little wrong. Something. Are That's you talking Nordstrom rack, Frank? Was that I'm a not Nordstrom up rack? Names. I'm not bringing up comp- corporate Frank, names. how do you go from zombie <laughs> and Dune homes. references to Nordstrom <laughs> rack? I, I'm just saying, n- no going in. You're getting your discount. Frank or natural. <laughs> He's crazy. You're getting your discount on this property because there are right. faults with the property. Right. Okay, so instead of honestly, I'm seeing like like I was saying, I'm seeing it happen more and more where buyers are backing out because of the home inspection. But see, the home inspector's job is to scare the bejesus out of you in the first yeah, we place talked about that to before. see if you're going to move forward you know now, now you also you just you just said you're getting a deal on the home but uh, my experience i don't think you're really getting a deal there's so much competition i don't think there. foreclosures are deals what, anymore you're paying what the house is worth yeah you're paying whether whether it was i think an they set the market sale, whether it was an equity sale or whether it was exactly yeah. i think they set the market and i think that that's just what homes cost i think last year about the last year and a half before this year was when people started getting deals. Uh, well, when you're in 2001, if inventory <coughs> picks up, it might be well, different. It's been well, heating I th- up. This I think whole year. I think it's people not. are getting deals because the price point in which the property is going to market more than likely is such a good price right. yeah. that it's really it's it's actually m- probably below market. But it's attracting more yeah. buyers and just driving them right back okay. to market okay. anyways. So offers are driving it up to yes. market, yeah. not, not the offer yeah. price. But it's still, by the time a foreclosure <clears throat> is selling nowadays, it is setting the market anyway for equity sales, for short sales, for everything yeah. else. Well, but if, I, I think if, we had a that, segment. It, we either had a segment or I definitely wrote an article about this. Um, the listing price is not sales price. Yeah. Right. But, so, oh yeah. So what it's listed for is not it's what not it sells for. But see for. that. But the price point of the REO is because the bank, like I've mentioned before, is n- unlike the other sellers, they're making a strict business, unstubborn strict business decision. Right. Even right. even short sale because their departments aren't making the best. Uh, uh, you know, decisions there because they they'll counter you higher than what the listing agent wants to sell it for because that's more than likely market and the bank right. will still counter higher. Mm-hmm. So the, demand will determine the, price. The conventional seller usually sells by emotion and feels that this house is was, was where they were raised and it's worth more because right. of that and so forth. The right. bank is strictly numbers and right now they're coming in lower than the numbers to generate that interest. Which is generating multiple offers it's on all property. The interest is driving up. But spend that little time, get that offer in, jazz hands, get that offer in. Good radio. Fingers. You never know. I've ha- <clears throat> I've had at least three properties in the past four or five months where the person who eventually got the property sent their offer in after the deadline really? as a backup, as a waiting in line person when that property was pending. The previous buyer fell out. Their offer was already there. I recognize it. I called them. They were someone on the tail end, so they were still kind of fresh. I asked them, are you interested? And they ended up getting the property because oh. they were still on board. You know what I mean? They, they were they were one of the last on the tail end, so they really weren't waiting a whole lot, uh, a long Bought time. Bought a couple extra bottles <coughs> of spick and span and moved right in. There you go. <laughs> Went to home it's hard enough to get your offer accepted right now. If you do, move forward, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. That, is, that the, uh, is that how you break it down? Did you break it down? Wow, talent. Hey, I'm we, feeling the awesomeness in this room. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. So basically, you're breaking it down. You just broke it down. Yeah. I think you broke it down. Did he break, Scott, did he break it down? If your offer gets accepted, get it. Take it. Run with it. I think we went in different directions Quick question. This, Quick question, because we got to get to the next segment. Yeah. you got a bunch of listings right now, and they're all foreclosures. Mm-hmm. In that five-day period we were talking about where you want to get that offer in, mm-hmm. how many offers are you averaging on one of your houses? One billion. It, you know, one billion offers. It, it just depends. At least five offers or more. And what, what's the most you've seen? Uh, I had one that had 33 offers <laughs> in, in 10 days. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Man, so, that's what I'm hearing. And, and that pro- I, I think the original offer 12. back out after the inspection. No, actually, the original offer got the property and moved forward and closed mm. ahead of time. They had nice. a pretty pretty good lender. Sweet. Wow, was now, the lease of the lender on that one? That's a, that's <laughs> economics is supposed to drive markets like real estate markets, financial markets. But I'm telling you, I believe emotion drives the real estate market more than economics because I think people get all right. caught up yeah. in the whole foreclosure thing when really. 
you're not buying. I mean, you're you're buying a house at about the same price as you're buying a, a, a traditional equity sale. Mm-hmm. It's all busted up, but you're still buying it at about the same price. But it's the whole auction mentality. I'm getting in. I got a deal. a deal. I'm yeah. getting something. It's not I want to get in. Up. It's previously owned. Yeah. It, well, it's not <laughs> certified. It's not certified. Previously it's not certified. Owned. Yeah. But it is per- previously. Owned. I think it's crazy, and I love it. But it, I think it's just one of those things that but people get all emotional. Yeah. And well, crazy about of, buying houses instead of just the using their brain. You get there's a lot of misinformation out there, and they kind of get wrapped up in it. And this buzz gets created whether it's <laughs> the whether it's proper or not. <laughs>